So what's always stands out to me is your guys' commitment. You know, you do so much paid, but because of the industries that I think you do it for, you have gotten really good at leading with value, even to cold audiences, people who don't necessarily know the brand. And so talk to me through um, kind of the mindset. How do you guys build campaigns and what are you thinking through are kind of critical ways to do marketing well? Yeah, so first of all, I think just, uh, I mean, out of all these years, it's been a long time. It really starts with clarity. Like, what is the purpose? What are you trying to achieve? And frankly, if your mission is to really help solve a problem for a person, a real human, um, you've already, you have a head start. Mm-hmm. So for us, it's always been very mission oriented. We really, when we go into a market, it's not just about making money for a few months. It's, we want to be in it for years and we want to impact it. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is really, a, I think, an understanding that the problem that a consumer has you may think that that's the problem is the problem. It's actually the problem solving the problem. Hmm. When people have a problem, they have to discern, who am I going to go with? What should I do? Where should I go? Who should I trust? So when marketers, brands are coming at them saying, pick me, here's why you should believe me, it actually creates even more of a problem for a consumer. So for us, we've actually, we work really hard at trying to understand more the emotional side of what is someone feeling the moment that we reach them. Mm. And what we realized is that there's a whole journey that people go through, um, you know, obviously from awareness and problem awareness and they go down it and it takes time, but with paid media and we run a lot of paid media, we don't have the time to like hope and pray that someone might one day convert. Mm. So what we realized is that if we can connect emotionally with people and we can ask the right questions and we can build trust with them pretty quickly, they start opening up. I mean, you're probably wondering, like, all right, how do we do that, right? But, um, but that's the that's a big thing is really an empathetic approach, and uh, and we we start there. Yeah. It used to it used to be all like benefits, logic, offer. That's the king, and not now it's emotion. Hmm. Yeah, it's so interesting, and I think for folks listening in um, or watching in, there are I don't know if I know anybody who's run more paid media than you guys have. So you guys have done over two hundred million. Right. So um, it, it's crazy to think in probably just a matter of years, you guys would be like, we run a billion dollars in, in paid media. But so for someone who knows, if you're listening, you're like, ah, what does he know about paid media? Like it can sound big and conceptual, but it's because you guys have done this on such reach. But that's yeah. an important thing that I think people skip over is the emotion of it. I heard folks say, you know, it's like effectively we do what we want. We do what we feel like doing in any given moment. And so then the challenge of marketing is to um, help someone feel like whatever that like Mm -hmm. emotional state would be to take that next action. And so it's, it does require a high degree of empathy to understand, are they in a place of fear? Are they in a place of expectance and opportunity? Like what is, where, where are they at and where would they, what would they need to feel like in order to possibly get closer to whatever the solution is that we have? And so, um, I love, um, you guys have done this. Look, we can talk a little bit tactical. There's certain things you guys do like, um, just even in how you engage with the lead and think of it from like a deep psychology of what is that emotional state. And so maybe let's go into some of that, like stuff you guys do with maybe like the surveys or kind of that questionnaire process. Sure. Yeah. And just for context, um, even with all the media that we run, our model, what we decided when we started in 2005 was that we wanted to own and operate our own brands. And Mm -hmm. this would give us full creative freedom to, to basically solve, help solve consumers' problems and then also grow national companies. Mm. So what we have essentially, like we kind of have more freedom than anyone I know in the space, uh, unless they have the exact same model. And that's what's allowed us to really explore and, and learn the methods that we have. But the most effective one we've had to date is really through lead generation. And the the backstory is it, we were taught long ago, the best practices were r- remove friction, mm-hmm. right? Get out of the way. Short, sweet, simple, get them in and out. But the problem is we had to convert at the highest levels, right? Because the paid media, it's expensive. Mm-hmm. But we also needed the lead to be extremely Qualified. high lifetime value, mm-hmm. right? So we had to somehow reduce cost and then increase value. And those are opposed to each other usually. Yeah. So we went, it, I mean, this is like probably a seven-year journey of experiments, epiphanies. But finally, we realized that while everyone was calling forms, multi-step forms, surveys, and quizzes, Mm -hmm. because of that framing, they were thinking of it that way. They were treating it that way. And users, consumers, were actually receiving it and experiencing it that way. Mm. When we started looking at multi-step forms as conversations, 
we realized that like, oh my goodness, these, while the user doesn't realize what's going on, we're able to ask specific questions that emotionally wake them up, mm. that emotionally get them kind of excited. We can future pace. Like we basically, we, we got rid of all long form copy mm. and we, what we did is we made it really easy to get into a multi-step form. Like, Hey, for people who are looking for X, mm -hmm. answer a few questions here. And the first question we'd always ask was one that was irresistible, mm. something that often had to do with empathy, um, that they, you know, maybe tell us what's been going on or, uh, I mean, every market has a different like starting question. That starting yeah. question though is probably 50% of the value is just knowing how to start the conversation.